What if the creative departments of each of these major soda companies decided to redesign their logo using the branding elements of their competitors? I know what you're thinking, Michael, that would never happen. But since we're all professionals here, we're gonna play out this scenario to satisfy our own curiosity. So without further ado, let's do a face swap. Okay, first let's gather existing branding materials from both companies. Some emblems, logos, and mock-ups. Then I'll just litter my workspace with everything I found. This is the most current version of the logo that I know of. Now I'll open up Adobe Fonts to find a match for this type. Here we go, Pharisee New. Place it underneath the existing one. It's very close, but the line weight is slightly thicker. So I'm gonna do an offset path with a negative value and use Pathfinder to get rid of the excess. I really like the E in the Pepsi logo type, so we're gonna switch that with what we have here. I don't really like the C, so we'll use the O next to it to create a new one. Create a rectangle, align it, and using the free transform perspective tool, I'll cut that out. Scooch that over. Okay, a few more adjustments to the K here, including rounding off the corners. Change the color to Pepsi Blue. Now let's create this brand mark symbol, but instead, I'm gonna use the Coca-Cola swoosh. All right, so I'll pull this over, give it a similar angle, and slide it in place. We'll make it a little thicker. offset path behind the whole thing to give it uh, a stark contrast from this blue background. And here is Coke with a Pepsi face. If I had to guess, I would say that most people would probably purchase this thinking it was Pepsi uh, until they drank it and then realized, realized it wasn't. Okay, now let's put Coke's face onto Pepsi. I immediately knew I wanted to use Coca-Cola's scripted typeface. I found this one called Loki Cola. Some tracking and kerning. Now let's outline it. This font had some rougher edges, so I decided to go in and make some adjustments to the anchor points to smooth it out a bit. Also wanted to have a similar contrast between the thin and thick lines um, because they were kind of all over the place. this would be a great time to click the thumbs up button. Wouldn't it? I'll prepare this for the mock-up using the existing Coke can. And drop it in place. And we need the word classic in there. Make sure my size and spacing is correct. Since I did an emblem for the previous design, I'll do another one here. Put another white offset path behind it. A little gradient to give it some character. And here's Pepsi Cola wearing Coca-Cola's face. So there you go, there's my first attempt at doing a logo face swap on this channel. If you can think of two competing brands that you'd like me to do a logo face swap for, let me know in the comments, uh, and it just might be in a future video. 
you want to see more videos like this and want to join the tribe, please click subscribe. If you liked this video, please click the thumbs up button. It really helps the channel. Thank you very much for your time and we'll see you in the next video.